Hi, this is Troy from the DIY World on my homemade people powered bike. The, uh, we've had a lot of clouds in the last week so my solar panels are not producing much power and I had to come up with some idea to charge the batteries. Right here as you can see behind me is the off-grid trailer and so I put this thing together. I have here a treadmill motor simply hooked up to a bicycle and any DC motor if you turn it will produce power. Treadmill motors happen to make perfect generators and as you can see I'm not pedaling very hard I'm not pedaling very fast if you come around to the front here you can see the voltmeter and this is the voltage before the batteries you can see I'm putting out a very good charging voltage into the batteries roughly about 14 volts Alright, well, now I got my friend on the generator, just to show so I can talk a little bit more in detail about it. Uh, How does it feel pedaling that thing? Feels like I'm uh, going up a rather moderate hill. Could you, you think you could do that for an extended duration though? No, I would want to gear down. That's... But since we can't do that on this bike, I just have to suffer. <laughs> right. Alright, anyway, um... Now we have the voltmeter hooked up to the batteries. Now it's fluctuating a little because the thing about a bicycle is the power is not, the power curve is a little bit jerky because you're pedaling and you have to push and pull action. So as you can see, but that's just, this is the battery voltage right now. So this is on the other side of the diodes that I have. And I'll take you over to the generator. We'll go into more detail about this generator. This is simply a treadmill motor, a DC. It was a 90 volt DC treadmill motor. So because it was 90 volts, you don't really have to spin it very much to get a lot of power out of it, which makes it perfect for a bicycle generator. And then I have here a pair of diodes. These are really high current diodes. They're six amps and they are warm to the touch so we're putting out at least actually they're getting very hot we're putting out at least 12 amps I'm gonna have to put bigger diodes on and this runs up to our batteries these are a pair of golf cart batteries being charged now by our generator now this was 12.8 just a few minutes ago and this is now the generator has stopped and it's holding at about 12.9, so just about 5-10 minutes of pedaling. Not even. Two minutes. Is putting uh, quite a bit of charge into the battery. Now it's this battery stabilizing a little. Of course, we have current being drawn in the, on the inside. There's things being run on the battery, the charging device, and, or the uh, charge controller. and So it's going to go down a little bit. But that's pretty impressive for a couple minutes of pedaling to change the battery voltage noticeably.